Today we are going to read the story Sandy and Maya learn about interdependence. Now what is interdependence? In order to understand interdependence, we first need to know what is dependence. You are dependent on others for something if you cannot do it by yourself. So what is interdependence? When two or more beings are dependent on each other, we say that they are interdependent. Now let's get back to our story. This is Sandy and this is Maya. They are explorers. Sandy and Maya have set out on a long trip to explore the continent of Africa. This is the continent of Africa. Their first stop was Egypt. Wasn't the Karnak temple beautiful? It certainly was, but I found the pyramids of Giza most impressive. And not to forget the huge statue of Sphinx. Sandy and Maya were taking a stroll on the banks of River Nile. Look at that pretty little bird. It seems to be in a hurry. Oh no, it seems to be heading right towards the crocodile's open mouth. Stop, little birdie, stop! The little bird landed straight inside the open jaws of the crocodile and started pecking inside its mouth. What? The croc is not eating the bird. I wonder why. Let's take a closer look. Sandy and Maya tiptoed closer to the crocodile. What are you two staring at? We are just wondering why are you letting the bird peck inside your mouth? Yes, Mr. Crocodile, why are you not eating it? I am a nice crocodile. This bird is an Egyptian flower. It is not just pecking around. It is taking out all the meat stuck between my teeth. If the food is left there, it will rot and the germs will cause cavities and toothache. I could even lose my teeth. We know the importance of keeping our teeth clean. That is why we brush our teeth twice a day and floss regularly. I cannot brush my own teeth. My hands are too small. I cannot even hold a toothbrush. I do not even have a toothbrush. I am dependent on Egyptian flowers for cleaning my teeth. Oh, you are so kind, Mr. Egyptian flower. Thank you, my dear. But I am also getting something by cleaning the crocodile's teeth. Really? What is it? You see, I like to eat meat, but I do not know how to hunt animals. When I take out meat stuck between the teeth of the crocodile, I eat it. That is my food. I am dependent on Egyptian flowers for cleaning my teeth. I am dependent on the Nile crocodiles for meat to eat. We, we are, are both, both interdependent. interdependent. That's amazing. After some days, Sandy and Maya reached Tanzania. Look at that mountain. It is so high. That is Mount Kilimanjaro, one of the tallest mountains in Africa. And that is Lake Tanganyika, the second deepest lake in the world. Look at all the giraffes roaming in the forest. <laughs> What's so funny? Look at the birds hitting a ride on the giraffes. Why birds? Are you too lazy to fly? <laughs> Do you need to buy tickets to ride on giraffes? <laughs> Silly kids. These birds are ox peckers. They are not Pitching a ride. They are removing ticks and other insects from our skin. 
We don't like these insects. They irritate our skin and even cause disease. We cannot remove them ourselves and are dependent on the oxpeckers for getting rid of these insects. Oh, but why do the oxpeckers agree to do all this work for you? We like to eat these insects. We are dependent on the giraffes for our food. We, we are, are interdependent. interdependent. Mm, so very interesting. After Tanzania, Sandy and Maya went to Mozambique. They loved its beaches and swam with the dolphins. The forests and woodlands in Mozambique were full of animals like the African elephants, monkeys, rhinos and antelopes. They saw a bird near the village. Look, the bird is behaving so strangely. It is hopping from tree to tree and making strange noises. Oh no, some villagers are following it. I hope they are not going to harm the poor bird. Fly, fly away, bird, bird fly, fly away. away. What? No, I want the villagers to follow me. But why? Why don't you come along and see for yourself? Soon they reached a tree. There was a cavity in the tree trunk and bees were buzzing around and coming out of it. I am Honey Guide Bird. I help the villagers by finding honey-loaded beehives. Here bees make hives inside cavities in the trees so it is difficult to spot them. Honey is an important part of the food for villagers and they are dependent on me for finding it. That's great, but what do you get from it? Just wait and see. The villagers lit a fire and used the smoke of burning wood to scare the bees away. Then they took out the honeycomb from the tree cavity. Before leaving, they left a fat piece of the honeycomb on the ground. It's time for my lunch now. You see, I eat honey but cannot get it from the honeycomb myself. I am dependent on the villagers for getting honey. The villagers are dependent on me. I am dependent on them. We are interdependent. That's so cool. We have seen interdependence between so many different living beings all around us. Isn't that amazing? Yes, I can think of one more example of interdependence between living things. In the center of flowers, there is a powder called pollen, which is generally yellow in color. A flower can make seeds only if it gets the pollen from another flower of the same type. But how can this be done? Flowers cannot walk, nor do they have hands. A bee or a butterfly sits on a flower to suck nectar. The pollen sticks to its feet. When the bee or butterfly goes to another flower to suck nectar, the pollen on its feet falls on that flower. Did you know that transfer of pollen from one flower to another is called pollination? So the bees and butterflies are dependent on the flower for nectar and the flowers are dependent on them for pollination. So they are interdependent. Correct. After all, living beings on this planet are interdependent. And that is the end of the story. Please like, share and subscribe.